Chris Reagan here, your friendly neighborhood wider man, coming at you live from New York. It's Saturday night. Uh, now, today we're going to be responding to a video that's been responded to by everybody, but I thought I'd have some fun today, especially because there hasn't been a lot of content on this channel recently because I've been getting ready to move in like a few days and I've been just busy doing the 100K video. Here's something to, to whet your appetite. It's one of those moments where I wish I had like a fake rubber chicken. Me too. So I could, like pour bleach down the, down the chicken. <laughs> so I hope you'll find it within your cold and callous hearts to forgive me this one time for going after the low hanging fruit. So with that out of the way, let's get on to the burning question of the day. Should Link from Legend of Zelda be a girl? What's up bitches? You're watching Nerd Games. Oh man, so quirky man. I love I love the quirky humor. I love quirk. No. Just kidding, I hate nerds. They're the worst. Oh, they're so awful. Oh, well, you didn't even... You didn't even commit! That's... That's not fun. So, there's a, um, uh, pretty serious... What the fuck? What, what is this delivery? So, there's a, um, uh, pretty serious debate going on right now about whether Link from The Legend of Zelda should be a girl. So I have to, uh, I have to ask why this is even a conversation in the first place. Link is a guy. That's just who the character is. Zelda is a woman. That's just who she fucking is. If for whatever reason you want to change the gender of a character, go ahead and do that, but don't fucking do it within the same fucking franchise. Do what Naughty Dog did. They, they, they just took Tomb Raider and made her a guy and it came out great. They didn't, they didn't go out and say, oh, you know what, we're gonna take a crack at Tomb Raider this time. We're gonna make it Larry Croft. Yeah, and he's gonna, he's gonna hunt for treasure and shit. By the way, I know they didn't just take Lara Croft and swap the genders. That's silly. But I'm just saying, if you want to do something like that, there's all the opportunity in the world to do that in a different franchise. You can just do that elsewhere. It's an established character. Let it be an established character. This is what bugged me a lot with the whole female Thor thing. Because it wasn't like Spider-Man where they're like... It wasn't like... With, with Spider-Man they weren't like, Hey, we're gonna have a black Spider-Man. They were like, Okay, you know what? Peter Parker's this Spider-Man and this is Miles Morales. He's a different character but he still has spider powers and they call him Spider-Man. See, that to me is totally fine. I think it's a bit lazy to recycle uh, a white superhero and just kind of hand me down to it to a, to a minority just to appease them. I feel like it's better to just create your own heroes. But the way Miles Morales worked, that was way better than just, oh, it's Peter Parker, but Peter Parker's black and gay now. So what is the obsession with just taking Link and making him a fucking woman? We don't need men to play male characters. We can get women and just swap them out inadvertently. Who cares if Link from the video game is one of the key roles is him going out to save the damsel in distress. A bunch of jagoffs on the internet are pissed about it. Who the, who the fuck, who was that? And that's just nuts, because I remember when we used to play Zelda, we were pretty sure Link was a girl. When we were playing Zelda, we thought Link was a girl. No, you didn't. You didn't think Link was a girl. You thought you were playing as Zelda. This is a common thing for everybody who grew up playing Zelda. They thought they were playing as Zelda, and at the end, it turns out, oh, they were trying to save Zelda. Oh, my God. That's just because games didn't really communicate their stories all that well back then. He was a male character in the fucking cartoon show, and that was, like, decades ago. Okay, I guess... When I really started playing Zelda, Link's gender was completely indiscernible. What is the point? What is the point of this? What is the point of this video? I can't even make out his nose, let alone what his gender is. Oh my God, he doesn't even have a nose. Guys, I'm really trying. I'm really trying to make this funny, but the base material isn't even funny, and it's not even not funny in a way that I can make fun of. It's just not funny. Oh, haha! -ha, Link is pixel art. He doesn't have a nose. I guess he doesn't, I guess he doesn't have a nose. Of course Link can be female. Don't take feminism seriously. It's, it's almost like a form of population control in essence. I mean, you need a man and a woman. A, a man who can assert his masculinity, which manifests in the form of an erection. And you need a woman who yields her femininity, which manifests in the form of a moist vagina that is receptive to a penis. Penises come into vaginas, and literally, that is why Link can't be a girl. Duh, it makes sense. What is happening? I am desperately trying to piece together an argument here. I, I have no idea how the video she's showing relates to the topic at all. I, I, I have never been this confused. Okay, calm down, Chris. It's just a, just a dumb video on the internet. It ain't a big deal. Hey. 
Oh my god, what a nerd. Bye, bitch! Game over. That was it? That was the whole- that was the whole- what was the purpose of this video? It's a minute and 34 seconds! Seriously, that TV, it should, it should be seriously question mark TV. Okay, guys, I'm, re I'm genuinely curious. I I've never been this astounded. Uh, by just a lack of coherence in a video before, so I need to check out the rest of this channel. I have to. Men kissing men. Well, that's pretty gay. Holy shit, guys. So these guys made a, a video called Five Ways Puerto Rico Could Raise Two Billion Dollars ASAP. Thanks for helping my homeland. Thank you so much. Your, your advice is greatly appreciated. Okay, so the description of this channel reads comedy at the speed of news, which, which doesn't really imply satire or parody. Uh, it just sort of, sort of implies a comedic focus, which you can tell they're trying really, really hard to do. Ooh, the Brexit, it explained with Taylor Swift lyrics. Oh, oh, oh. Guys, I'm sorry, this video was a total bust. Uh, I thought I could make some interesting arguments, but the arguments presented to me to refute weren't arguments. Today's video was a colossal failure. I thought I could deliver some laughs and some joy, but instead I have delivered nothing but pain and suffering. Anyway, that's it for me today, I guess. I, I, I'm sorry that this video wasn't as uh, normal as the others. I'm really fucking busy, and there's nothing to talk about in the news. I am so bored with everything I see, and I'm just busy as all hell. Uh, it's stressful as fuck. So yeah, anyway, I appreciate you guys uh, sticking around, even during a content drought like this while I'm in the middle of my hectic as fuck move. So anyway, I'll see you later. I'm gonna go kick myself into oncoming traffic. I'll, I'll goodbye.